it initially started with the memory she has of Nelson Mandela dying in prison in the 1980s and she specifically recalls that happening whereas he actually died in 2013 after he had gotten out of prison and she discovered that there are masses of other people who actually also remember Nelson Mandela dying in prison. I personally believe to me that this is a perfect example of parallel realities where things did happen a certain way but then we shifted realities and that actually changed the outcome. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Muna Shibal and I'm a manifestation and soul realignment coach. My channel is geared towards helping you become your highest potential so that you can create and live the extraordinary life that is your birthright. In today's video, I'll be talking about the Mandela effect, what it is and if it is a sign that we are experiencing parallel realities. But before we get started, I just want to remind you that I have now launched my group coaching program, which is a three month program to help you manifest money and abundance in a group setting with a group of people who want the same thing. The coaching program will start on December 1st and I explain all the details on the product page. So you definitely want to check them out. And I'd like to invite you to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon in order to receive a notification anytime I upload a new video. I thought I'd film a video about the Mandela effect because it's, in my opinion, evidence of parallel realities. But I thought that I would share it with you in case you do not know what the Mandela effect is. So the Mandela effect is a term coined by a lady who set up a website to talk about what appeared to be false memories around certain events where a large number of people remember something happening a certain way when in fact it did not. It initially started with the memory she has of Nelson Mandela dying in prison in the 1980s and she specifically recalls that happening whereas he actually died in 2013 after he had gotten out of prison. But she particularly remembers that he died in prison and she discovered that there are masses of other people who actually also remember Nelson Mandela dying in prison. So in her mind, she couldn't believe that such a large number of people also remembered what she remembered. She particularly believes that that's what happened. But we also know that he died in 2013 and that's not exactly what happened. There are people who even remember his widow giving a speech. And she then discovered that there are a number of other cases or phenomena that fit the Mandela effect where people remember something being a certain way when actually it's another one. And we've, I've had fun with my friends about this because we also remember certain things being a certain way, the things that I'm going to share with you later in this video. And we all have different memories of, of truth for us. For me, it's a perfect explanation of parallel realities playing out. There are other scientific explanations that are provided. I will provide a link below because of course, I'm always going to share that there are other explanations that are provided, but I personally believe to me that this is a perfect example of parallel realities where things did happen a certain way, but then we shifted realities and that actually changed the outcome. And then you're thinking, did I, was I mistaken? Did I misunderstand that? Am I missing something? Was there something wrong? And I'll take this opportunity before I share the clips that are examples of Mandela effect. I'd like to share this example from one of my friends who particularly this year experienced a number of things where she swears that she saw earlier in the year that Sinead O'Connor 
had died, but then at some point in time, she discovered that Sinead was actually alive. And then again, a few days later, she discovered she's dead, which she swears that she knew that Sinead had died, but then she was alive and then she's dead again. So these are some fun ways to really look at this concept of parallel realities. And I believe we are hitting a time where it's going to be more and more visible to us and probably much more accepted because in the end, that is how we are creating our reality through these shifts, through parallel realities, through shifting and having different outcomes come up or different experiences come up that show us that we are actually shifting realities. I'm going to share these clips with you here so that you can see some of the other examples I was talking about earlier in the video. So if you remember things based on the examples I gave, if you remember them being a certain way, definitely comment below. This is something that will be fun and interactive for everyone to comment about and to sh really show us that we are shifting realities. I hope you liked this video. If you did, then please like, comment and share. And I look forward to seeing you again in the next video.